Hey everyone, welcome to the sound demo for the Mad Bean Dirt Baby. As I mentioned, the build report, probably the best PT2399 I've built so far. Um, I'm not quite sure how Brian's managed to squeeze so much um, functionality out of a PT2399, but he's done a really great job. So to start off with, I just want to explain a couple of things because it, it is a relatively complicated pedal in, as, uh, in respect that the um, controls all sort of interact with each other. So this is my understanding of how the pedal works so far, just from tinkering around with it since I've built it. Um, so I'll just run through basically a couple of things just to um, explain. But I'll show you in the sound demo anyway what happens. Um, might just make it a bit um, easier to understand when you actually hear the sound demo what I'm actually doing. Um, so the level and the blend tend to work to together. Um, the level is the um, level of the guitar signal going into the circuit, I believe, when I looked at the schematic. I'm pretty sure that was actually the input level. Um, and then blend is obviously just as any old blend would be. Um, so between these two um, dials, you can get the right level um, with your clean tone as well. Um, and um, and uh, it, it works, um, obviously, the way that a blend does too, if you want to just totally negate your um, input signal, you can just turn the blend up and it will pretty much just cut it out totally. So you'll just get the repeat um, and not the original, um, not your original guitar signal. Um, so the delay and the feedback work just like any other P22399. There's nothing really complicated with those two. And then you've got rate and depth, which is the modulation part. So you've got vibrato and chorus. Pretty sure vibrato was up, chorus is down, but you'll hear it in the um, sound demo. And I put a little note just so you know, um, in case you're not familiar um, with vibratos and choruses um, I'll put a note um, when we're playing through the sound demo so the um, rate and depth again just work like any other chorus um, would um, rate you know the speed of it uh, speed of the of the vibrato or the chorus and then the depth how much um, vibrato or chorus um, so that's all pretty straightforward but one thing I found with the delay is when you start to get to the maximum um, delay time Starts to get starts to get dirty, very dirty. Um, but that's that is no more dirty than any other PT two three double nine that you're gonna you're gonna build. If you don't know much about the PT two three double nine, once you get over about three hundred milliseconds, it starts to get um, quite noisy, um, and um, it gives it a kind of a bit of an analog sound in that respect. Um, but when it react, when oops, sorry, I knocked the tripod there. When it um, interacts with the chorus and the vibrato, I find that when it starts to get you start to get past 300 milliseconds, or maybe 450 milliseconds, um, it can get a little nauseous. Um, neither of those effects sound, um, sound their best after 450 milliseconds. So I'll show you that in the sound demo um, so you can see it firsthand, or hear it firsthand. Um, but yeah, uh, one, but once you get, once you go back, you know, like um, zero to 450 milliseconds, it sound, they sound really good. Um, they're actually really good sounding choruses and vibrato, so, um, um, hopefully it comes through with the video. So I just wanted to explain that um, if you heard a bit of a seasick kind of chorus, I'm just demonstrating, you know, like what it sounds like when you've got the when you've got the delay on on maximum. Also, might do a little sound demo too with the prismatic reverb. You, as you probably know, I like um, reverb and delay. I think it's a match made in heaven um, as far as as far as my preferences go. Anyway, let's get into the sound demo now. <laughs> 